Game Changers by Leyline. That was a test for you. Good job. Oh, yeah. Because um, the stinger that we have right now is a little bit long. <laughs> but we're working on that. We're working on that. It's a work in progress. Uh, we are live. This is our second podcast called Game Changers by Leyline, brought to you by Zydex PCs and one of our most very favorite uh, nonprofit organizations, Dance Music Initiative, the collective of dance music enthusiasts who pool their resources and knowledge to support others in their musically creative endeavors. DMI inspires others through instruction, mentoring, and sharing. DMI will continue its success with every person that asserts the collective and has enriched their life and has made positive impact on their ability to express themselves with dance music. We love you, Brian. DMI, check them out. Dance Music Initiative. Get a little uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in your life, you know? <laughs> so says the baby in the background. Wow. <laughs> Today we are brought to you by the a couple of the originals. Me, I am Justin Boogie. Uh, we have Cody and we have Crystal Hola. and our very special guest, one of the Leyline artists, Andrew Dorland. What is hey, up? What's happening? Yeah, thanks for happy to be here. Yeah, thanks for coming. Yeah, for sure. No problem. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna jump right into it, man. Uh so you know, I've worked with you a little bit, Andrew, and I get to see his art all the time. And you know, maybe he should have chosen a different path for work, really. I mean, he's got stick figures, that's about it. Just kidding. This guy yeah. is a wizard. <laughs> It, he makes uh, being creative very easy where we can just get super silly and crazy imaginative with our ideas. And he's like, yeah, I can do that. Um, I guess uh, give us a little bit of background for you, bud. Sure, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's always fun working with you guys, too, because it gives my brain a break. I don't have to, like, think of the ideas. Everyone else can just come up with them and I can just draw it. So that's nice. Uh, yeah, because a lot of the other jobs, I have to do a lot of that stuff. So, um yeah, I, I got started. I have a really weird background because I didn't go to school for art. So anyone out there that wants to be an artist and stuff like that, you don't really have to. I went to business school. So I just I drew my way through business school. I probably shouldn't have been in business school. Yeah. Yeah. Boogie, I can tell you're like, what is happening? Doesn't make any sense. Does yeah. not compute. <laughs> yeah. So it Did probably you just takes school longer. for something else or anything. Yeah, I went to I went to school for business. Oh, okay. I kind of had the I had the classic parents that were like, "You're not gonna, like, what are you gonna do, art? You know, you're what I mean? you gotta go, yeah. yeah, you gotta go do something else." So I was like, "Okay, I'll please the parents." So I was literally sitting in the back class, like just drawing, like in the margins all the time. Uh, and then you, but, and then you get the question, Mister Dorland, would you like to come up and answer this, please? And you're, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. So everyone, yeah, anyone out there that wants to do it, just it's a ton of practice. I think this. I think it's faster if you go to school because you're going to make a lot more mistakes and bad habits that you have to fix by yourself but still um any dreamers out there do it for sure um yeah besides that i had uh pretty crazy jobs i went from canada so i went to school in thunder bay which is way north canada and uh i come from a forestry family and both my brothers were working forestry so i actually planted trees in the summertime I wouldn't be able and to tell was, with the beanie and the beard. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't get I don't get a forced vibe from him at yeah. all. Like, not one bit. Yeah, no, it's the glasses. True. It's the glasses. Came yeah. from the good place, Canada. Yeah. I did. Uh, I heard it gets I kind of cold up there. Hmm, I heard people it's are nice up there. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Andrew was just telling us earlier that it was. Oh, it was just five degrees. It's like. That negative five chilly. degrees. Negative five degrees. Forgot the negative. Yeah. It even, it's even colder. Like for us. And for us Americans that don't use the metric system, that's like 100 degrees below zero. I think that's what that equates to. I was like, how? I'm not a math that? guy. <laughs> oh, America and our yes, non-metric. Yes. Sorry. So, let's go back to you. <laughs> yeah. okay. So your previous work uh, in art, what, uh, what, have you, uh, what have you worked on art-wise? Uh, so I've done a bunch of mainly I'm a big animation guy, I think, for the most part. Animation and comics. That's my uh, big big, big background. I've done some concept art for some studios as well. And then I also did some video game, but more storyboard for like cutscenes and that kind of stuff. So I'm always like doing story um, a lot of the time outside of uh, concept art and comics. But 
main thing is like because comics really usually leads pretty well into storyboarding there's oh, yeah. some big differences um it's not like an easy transition because you just have to follow a lot of different rules but um for the most part yeah it's pretty good so um yeah huge comic comic guy so what, what, what really comics are some of your favorites what what really gives you that that creative boost yeah well yeah so i'm like a 90s kid so like the x-men yeah. and the x-men cartoon and all that kind of stuff Yes. Okay. Cartoon. yes. Yeah. I'm a nineties kid yeah. too. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. It's yeah. the best it's the we're the best kind of people, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did the X Men did the X Men cartoon song ever remind you of the Whitney Houston song? Please somebody tell me I'm not the only one. Which <laughs> can you sing Houston it for us? Song. Giving right. me yeah. everything. That one. And she Oh my gosh. That's, right? That's, that's now that you cool. say oh, it. Wow. That's right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. For the yeah. night. Thank you very much. Next episode. <laughs> Right. We have a um, DJ in the house, right? Or at least, you know, listening on. So we do a mashup? Make a mashup? It's, it's funny that you said X Men and we've got two of our co hosts that are wearing <laughs> some DC stuff. We've got yeah. uh, Cody in his uh, Superman pajamas and we've got uh, Crystal in her Batman shirt. Actually, hey, and really this was not planned. Story. I'm super jealous. It was not planned. Yeah, so it means we clicked. Yeah. Right. But just so this everybody knows, we're in a group is. chat yeah. and they're lying to you. Yeah. It was absolutely planned. There's <laughs> a plant like on the magic shows. I'll pick this guy. <laughs> I'm wearing my, my Slytherin shirt. We're not nerds uh, at all, people. We're not nerds <laughs> at all in our DC. I guess and Harry Potter, Potter counts. Mm. Yeah, it's nerdish. Uh, he is kind of a hero, not I guess. Just DC. I I've got a Spider-Man. Right. I got clearly, I got Thanos, clearly he's Gauntlet. confused. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really jealous of that Spider-Man poster. I love it. That's pretty cool. That's yeah, cool. it's you're really. Not, you're cool. not picking sides. Yeah. <laughs> Were you ever into Image Comics? Uh, like uh, yeah, Arlen, I was. Hit, Spawn. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's I was pretty. pretty big. It was pretty funny. Like, I have two older brothers, and we were all into it, but we're super territorial. So if you liked one character, you were never allowed to like. Like my one brother likes Hulk, so I would never be allowed to read any Hulk comics. He'd be like, <laughs> "That's my guy. You can't go. That's my guy." <laughs> yeah. And so, Did like, I him? had, I had Spider Man, so I was pretty happy okay. with that. So it's a, it's a good one. I probably yeah, would have fought to the death of Spider Man in that house. So. Yeah. <laughs> so that's your guy then, Cody? Spider Man? It would be yeah. Spider Man would be my my Marvel character. All right. It's cool that they're having all the old actors back for the next one. Oh, I am so excited about that. Mm -hmm. Um. Mr. Andrew, uh, who yeah. would you say your number one like influencer was? Like you're the guy who influenced your art or lady that influenced your art growing up. So it's really funny story. Well, kind of funny. It's like so when you you when you're the a kid and you can't really read, but you just like look at the comic book art, or whatever. So a lot of that stuff I didn't realize till later, like how much it seeped in, and then I actually got to like meet a lot of the people and stuff like that. Um, so it'd be like Ron Garney is a big Spider Man artist back from the 90s um he's done a bunch of stuff now but uh he has some famous stuff on Wolver wolverine um but like todd mcfarlane covers would have grabbed me as a kid for sure even though his anatomy is pretty whack but it's uh <laughs> like he makes it work Shoulders. like it's Shoulders. yeah everyone's like, impossible but, human beings <laughs> yeah, I yeah my own back or wipe my butt but i think it looks think, stellar in this yeah it animation. looks sick though right <laughs> like I don't know, you can't argue that doesn't look cool so it's like what do you do but uh yeah there's some older guys like john Byrne, and this is getting really comic-y that people will be like oh but uh yeah lots of barry windsor smith and and if you ever if anyone doesn't know, go look, go look up Barry Windsor Smith. He does all this crazy ink, super detailed line work. He did a Frankenstein story that's like to die. It's wow. it's like you'll be like. Before we, uh, are we able to show any of his work, Crystal? Just because we're hey everybody, check out Andrew. He's an amazing artist. Just take our word <laughs> for it. You know, one day you'll show see you his stuff. Todd McFarlane. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. We'll just show you who inspired him. <laughs> well, while she gets that going. Uh... Um, sorry, one second. My my OBS keeps doing this thing where it mutes myself, so nobody could hear my answer. My favorite Marvel character is Spider Man. Okay, I just wanted uh... to include that in there. Oh, it just heard us <laughs> respond to you. <laughs> um, yeah. Should we share some of Andrew's work? Yeah, let's. Yeah, I think that'd be great. Now, do we have any of it up on the website? Layline.gg. Is any of that up yet? Yeah. Do we know? Yeah. Do we have it up? It's up on 
the arcade on social oh, perfect. Um, well, yeah. some of the spots too so there's some places we can drive folks to already see how andrew's bringing his talents to leyline and if you're just now tuning in leyline is all about changing the world right our slogan change the game change the world and we are bringing a sense of gamification an interactive game out of charity doing charitable works and one of the biggest ones uh, one of our bigger partners and uh, ways that we are doing this right now though it will grow and we will have even more and more and more and more opportunities to earn points through charitable works but one is by going on to leyline.gg and signing up with boink and boink will allow you to use your computer processor when you want it when you want to step away from your computer and it's just sitting there it can actually be running it's RAM to help support research for, for science, for medical research, for astronomical research, all sorts of things. Uh, you go on there, there's actually a pretty big list of different uh, research categories that you can be supporting through Boink, through Leyline. And so you rack in these points and these points are going to, well, we're gonna go to prizes. There's actually gonna be real world rewards for this to incentivize it. But there's also gonna be this big game side to it. And so the game side is gonna be featuring a ton of really cool artwork that Andrew has been working on. Items you can get, characters, you can start decking out your little guy, you can put them on quests, they come back and they have, they've earned a, a gift card, right? And then you can possibly even change, you know, it's like, hey, I didn't want a gift card to Lowe's. I never shopped there. Hey, Crystal, you got something to, you know, Amazon. Could we, you know, you could build a network community. We're going to have like the sense of competition. Uh, Crystal is kicking my butt. I've earned <laughs> a lot more leyline points since last week. Are you but catching up? Week, I'm catching oh, yeah. up. It's going to be a while. <laughs> so you started earlier and you're definitely running your computer a little bit longer. And so she is kicking my butt at charity and that's a cool thing to compete with i think i want to get better at charity i want to i want to yeah. be on the leaderboard in charity like that's awesome right so that's what leyline's all about and we're going to be using all sorts of uh, amazing elements of andrew's artwork do we have other artists as well right i mean it's or is, oh, yeah. Is, yeah okay so i mean because i do see andrew's work all the time do you want to shout out any of the other artists that have been uh been pumping out some pretty cool stuff <laughs> Yeah, shit. Ahn's been pretty awesome so far. I know. I'd have to look oh, up, pretty, but pretty yeah, Ahn's been killing it too. We have a new, we have a few bunch of new people that just came on too. And I haven't, I haven't, I've got to jump in a meeting with them and set them up. We have tons more artists that are coming on all the time. So, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just drawn away, but still get to meet the rest. It's, it's, it's crazy awesome. on how new we are. You know, uh, at the end of July is when this whole thing started, and. I look at the Slack and we've got like 80 people in there trying to pump this thing up. And it's so crazy on, how, on just the people that have flocked to this wonderful, wonderful thing that we're trying to save the planet, you know, and we're trying to fix the now and the future. So uh, take a look, leyline.gg. It's awesome. And that's 80 people working on on trying to build this thing but we, we have all sorts of folks in the alpha testing. We've got uh, folks signing up. I know we're around a thousand. I'm not sure what exactly that number is, but I know it's Getting close there. to there and, and it's growing. And so, uh, yeah, sign up leyline.gg. It's, it's growing, it's happening. And we got, we're, we're crowdfunding so that we could actually build this infrastructure so it can get to where we want it to go. Uh, but we're already doing some pretty cool things. We've already encouraged, I don't know how many folks are already starting to donate their computers to help research for cancer, curing cancer. I mean, how awesome is that? And you don't have to leave your house to do it. It's like the best form of volunteerism during a global pandemic. You don't even have to leave your house. In fact, you just spend a few minutes to set it up and you can walk away and take a nap and you just help science. Like that is so cool. And you for my fellow them. cave trolls. Yeah, and for my fellow cave trolls, you don't have to leave your house like, oh, I don't have to go anywhere to help out. Oh, I didn't plan on going anywhere anyway. Perfect. It works great. <laughs> right. Speaking of artists, I would like to shout out Cody. Oh. He's an amazing artist for our social media team. A lot of the things that we post are made by him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So shout out to Cody. Thank you so much. You made an awesome comic strip today too, right? If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. It's on our Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're on Facebook. Yeah. You're making me blush, especially in the, <laughs> in the presence of greatness. I am no but, Andrew. <laughs> sure. Going back to Andrew's art, yes, I do have some previews if you guys want to see. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I could tell the tone of Andrew's look is like, uh, you consider yourself an artist. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Peasant. <laughs> Peasant? How dare Whatever. I share this stream with you? <laughs> All right. Wow. Can you, can, can you guys see? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. This one is can a Can you favorite. tell us more about this one? Oh, hold on. I, gotta... I don't know. Oh, you have to like okay. have it on. You it see is, it through it our stream. Your... Floating monk. I picture him like in a space station. Oh, we got you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> this yeah. is access point. Mm hmm. That's cool. What so was your inspiration you know, for? Zen. Is he in space or is he floating? For, not because of gravity, but he's like actually, on the. I think, yeah, like he's, he's managed to become so enlightened that he's floating himself. It's his meditation that is giving got him that it. power. Wow. Yeah, like he's 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 so giving. I don't know. I just, <laughs> like, when you have as many ley line points as Crystal, I've noticed yeah. she floats a little bit higher sometimes. So. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I had my computer connected to Boink for the longest time, and it wasn't connected. Like I wasn't oh. earning any points. So for for I think half the time I've been here, and then I finally got like it finally connected because I was doing it incorrectly. But yeah. So, so so as high as her number is, it should be higher. So it should she be double like, that. <laughs> <laughs> she's salting the wound on me more. <laughs> I'm gonna have to oh, get right. just a computer just to dedicate it to it all day, all night. So all so right. Andrew, when you when you drew this Oh, are we uh, going back you, to the monk one? Oh sorry, we had sorry. changed it. Oh, oh no, wow, I can go back yeah. To let's the monk. talk Oh, I mean either one. Whichever one you want to talk about. Oh. Yeah, let's move to the next one. That one was next? Uh, Yeah, yeah. All right. Ooh, it's awesome. Ooh, what's this? That is a thing from my Happy Nightmares, I think. Oh. Well, do you guys remember Extravaganza? It was a show with a cat, and there was Sharky the Shark Dog. Do you remember that? I no. remember Eek a little bit. Okay, Tiny all right. There was yeah. a show, and there was a character, Sharky the Shark Dog. Looked nothing like this. This looks like a a more modern, edgier reboot of Eek <laughs> to bring in this shark dog here. So here's a question for you. Does he doggy paddle or does he swim like the aliens from the one with Ron Perlman in the water? Or like a shark, I mean. Where did I get that? Okay. Does he doggy paddle or does he swim like a shark? Uh, that's a good question. Doggy paddle super fast. <laughs> oh, I, I think the cool thing about this piece I would just say in general is people part of the Discord can hop on and recommend different stuff like that. Sorry. Thank you, Discord. Yeah, so, we got a very yeah. active Discord. Love it. Yeah, so, I know so we've yeah, everyone, gotten yeah. so many new um, people who, who joined, which is really exciting. Excellent. The people right that want to like hop in there and suggest stuff. Like, yeah. So what is this? Uh, is this going to be a companion? It is. Yeah. Have the little shark I, dog I buddy. I need, I need that. I need that yes. in my life. All right. Shark attack. Use your tail whip attack. Someone said it reminds them of street sharks. Oh, there's another boy. 90s. It's like a, That's how you a, a know wannabe you're... Ninja Turtles show. It's like Ninja Turtles is kicking butt. Let's do street sharks. Oh, totally. and... Yeah. That's... Uh, do you guys no, even have battle toads? Uh, I don't know. I don't <laughs> think I'm that old. Oh, I think that's an that's an old joke. You <laughs> call GameStop and ask if they had Battle Toads. I used to work at a GameStop way back when, for the discount. Wasn't that good? We should have like a full '90s nostalgia episode. Like, I still and have somewhere my Pogs. I lost them all in a house fire. Oh no! <laughs> All my collectibles in a house fire went up when I was younger. Yeah, that's a that's a weird Millions. story. Oh, yeah, that's man. a weird story. Oh, I blame Lowe's. Really sad. That's blame a Lowe's sad that. story. I had moved to the East Coast. Oh, no. I stored all my stuff underneath my folks' house. They get a brand new uh, dryer installed. Lowe's installs it incorrectly. Oh, house wow. fire burns everything underneath the house. Oh, blech. 
Oh. Yeah, all my collectibles from when I was like 14, 15, all the way up until, I don't know, I don't think I ever stopped collecting. So yeah, up to yeah. I was like 27. So all my Star Wars Legos and toys. <laughs> but I'm making up for it now. It's all good. 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 Bummer. All right. So, uh, Andrew, what do you, uh, as she shuffles through some of these, what do you do? What are you doing for Leyline? Like, what are, uh, like, specific? Yeah. So, people, people take a look. So, uh, yeah, I'm doing concept art and also, like, item concept, all the artwork assets that we're going to be having, all the cool stuff you can acquire from inside the app Leyline with your Leyline points. Yeah. It's all going to be in there. So, coming up with wacky, cool ideas, anything that's going to be awesome. We got some wicked, uh, I think we can sell some awesome cool hydro swords and just super creative stuff that we can uh, come up and make if we want to grab and collect. And the skins as well, working on some skins. So lots of concept art, lots of concept design. What's your uh, what's your creative process like? Um, pretty much, I'd say like, it's, I'm a big shape guy i think from like animation and different stuff like that so for anyone else that's like interested in learning to draw and everything it's all about shapes it's really like what you see is the final thing is not really don't be distracted by all the fancy shading or anything else that's going on it's all just about shapes and i always think like i try to tell people if you can close your eyes and imagine a cube and then rotate that cube but keep the actual like 3d space and then start adding more cubes and make them rotate at the same time. And then take a cat and break down the cat into like multiple cubes and then make them hop. Anything else like in a three dimensional space in your brain in like a simple form, then you can like draw it. So too many people try to draw something without having a full, fully fledged as possible like picture in their mind before they start drawing it. And that's a, I think that's like a mistake. Unless you're like, unless you're sketching that's what they call sketching because you're just like free flowing but if you're going to do like a finished thing you should have like a concept wrapped up in your brain oh. and i thought math was hard Ooh, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> this one this yeah. one is animated right it is it moves yeah. life will find a way <laughs> i just picture yeah. Can you oh, okay. sorry i can't make it any bigger uh hold on dino Let dropping try dropping. <laughs> no, I can't make it's it bigger. My bad. Picture. But this one's spare, cool. Spare no expense. <laughs> yeah, we're doing some <laughs> animation as well for different stuff. It's pretty mm -hmm. fun to do. I'm doing it like old school, so it's all drawn hand animation. So it's oh, this is all hand story? drawn. Do we have any story to go along with this image? Something going on in the background? Ah, uh, see, well, the cool thing I don't know about the background. I mean, we kind of just planned around with what's going on, like maybe. I don't know, maybe like characters are being grown in the eggs to be mm -hmm. like released in the world or something like that. But the little character or other artists on actually came up with so like, there's a lot of collaboration going on and, and I just thought like maybe these little guys are keeping care of people before they arrive in the Leyland world or something like that. But Aww. Just that mind you, I need to put a, an egg in an incubator on Pokemon Go right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, shall we go to the next one? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, what's this? Uh, I actually can't. What one is it? Let it's a back to tank. I don't know. Oh, oh, you back let me. That's the uh, the character that Andro and that you animated and pushing the button to like. Oh yeah, it. yeah. And then it so opened like up. The wait screen. I've got a golden ticket. Oh, that's so cute. I do. Ding. I do love that song. That's what I it looks like. Movie. It looks kind of like the golden ticket. Yeah, it was supposed to be similar to the golden ticket for people to win. How <laughs> long does it take you to come up with, or do, the, like, how long did this one take you? Um, I'd have to check. It doesn't take me crazy, like, less mm -hmm. than a day, probably, to do that. Like, maybe, wow. like, six hour, six to seven hours or something like that for uh -huh. the animation and stuff. Depends how fast yeah. I can... I love your yeah, detail yeah. of light. When the when the thing opens up, the golden light really you you see it on the character as well mm -hmm. as just the shine. So I mean you I, I'm noticing those those are good details, you know? Thanks. There's a really good if anyone's interested in it, um, there's a breakdown on uh so someone you someone's YouTube channel, I don't even know, but it's a like everyone watched the Acura 
movie. Mm. Hero, Hero the Hero movie. So they actually hand painted all the lighting effects in wow. the whole movie in the background. They break down like how they would have to do that. It's like insane. But anyway, it's just a side cool. animation fact. Uh, we got a couple yeah. more to check out, and then we'll uh, stop. Game yeah. over. <laughs> Game yeah. over. Dun dun dun. G G. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's uh What's that from? Besides just I... game over. What's it? Were you asking us with our dun dun duns, or are you asking Andrew what the game <laughs> Andrew. over? Andrew. Yeah. What's yeah, the okay. uh, inspiration between that? Oh, definitely Street Fighter, for sure. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's is this is. to tell Leyline people that the game is over when they lose from Leyline games that we have in the <laughs> arcade? <laughs> hey, Isn't everybody a winner? Mm. When you join I wouldn't Leyline. feel that bad if I saw this beautiful artwork that told me it was game over. Yeah. Now right. I hear there's some Ooh. sticks, right? There's, there's, is oh, up? man. Oh, this is is, cool it, is it oh, hey. supposed to be cut off like that? What's happening here? Oh, like yeah, it is cut off a little party. bit. Mm. This one's so detailed. I know. Wow. Is this one still concept? Is it going to become colored? Uh, yeah, it will be eventually. Hmm. We might have to process one in there. So see if you flip through. But yeah, I was just trying to show like some of the process stuff, how it kind of builds up from what you see at the beginning to the end. Different things like that. So. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. That's great. Reminds me of the Avengers going to get Shwana at the. <laughs> yeah. Um. Nobody's saying these. Are... Do you hand sketch these first or no? Uh, no. So I do everything on the tablet. Uh, okay. For okay. the most part. Yeah. So I actually like, I like using a brush and ink is usually like what mm -hmm. I would do. Mm -hmm. I actually work in the reverse. So I draw things on the computer but then print it out and then use a brush and ink to kit like old school because you i oh, like i have it? and just do the line work oh, and then okay. i'll scan that back in and then color it i don't do that for this like it's just a lot faster mm -hmm. if i do but if it's like um like an illustration piece like a one-off thing then and i have like the time to do it then i'll print it off and then do it with the brush and ink because i haven't found a computer that can replicate that exactly yet Even yeah like, like so no close. matter how technology mm. is advancing i feel like they can't replicate real life i stuff. feel if if crystal had a hammer that thing would have been dead <laughs> Shut up, man. Hey, i'm so sorry guys i don't know and the uh, funny thing is nobody there's no one calls me <laughs> until right now only until right now somebody one of your friends is watching be like mm, hello Yes. <laughs> I think we got a couple more and Let's then make fun uh, of Crystal. Yeah, I think there's an elephant and a oh, donkey wow. stick. The donkey stick. I want to see that. This one is a colored version. Oh look at that. Look at that. Oh. Yeah. He snaps oh, his fingers and bam, it's colored. Wow. This guy is magic. So, like, you called him a wizard. Style... <laughs> <laughs> you can tell in my style it's like a lot comic book, because that's like the workflow in comics, is they'll do line. Right, and then mm -hmm. some usually a different person color is it, um, but it's I kind love of just it. the workflow I've gotten into. I love <laughs> this color scheme; it's really nice. Do we have a couple yeah, more? I think we got an elephant. Ooh, yes. And we've got a donkey stick. What in oh, tarnation? Before and then this. It's like before and this is after. Yeah. Yeah, so if you go mm -hmm. through, I was giving you like some of the process. So you can see some of like even just the just the color blobs is kind of like me coloring. Hmm. Wow. And it doesn't have the little character the writing on him. Yeah, I took him out after to the end. So ah, oh. you know, add him back. But yeah, cool. very cool. So it's all about like the beginnings. Always just keep yourself really loose, mm. and then like a, a thing that people will. I don't know if it's a mistake, it's just a recommendation is, is like lock your wrist, like draw with from your shoulder. And oh, that's a gaming thing too, though. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, they're like, don't play with your wrist, play with your arm. Yeah, but. Yeah. I get so much crap that I'm an arm aimer. Nate, I know if you're listening <laughs> to this, 
<laughs> you know what gives me crap all the time. <laughs> Why? Why? Have this giant, this giant map. Well, cause I mean, you're I mean, doing it DPI the correct way. Like, my DPI is like 400, and my sensitivity is like 2.5 in game. So I have to go <laughs> from here to Canada in order to do like a 90 yeah. degree turn. But yeah, I get it. Yeah. Right on. And I think we have one more. Yes. Ooh. That's so beautiful. What was wow. your inspiration for that, uh, for the elephant? Uh, I was honestly thinking of, you remember the trippy Winnie the Pooh elephants? Anybody? The yes. honey, the honey, who wants the honey pot? Those guys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hoozles, the hoozles, and the something. Yeah, that's probably what I'm I was so thinking. glad we're recording this. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Him singing "Who Wants Go That on, Honey Pot?" That's gonna be my ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> Someone clip that. <laughs> that's awesome. well, if anyone hasn't seen it, Winnie the Pooh goes on a little. Oh wait, like, Winnie the Pooh? Like trip. Yeah. Oh. Still an old Winnie no, the Pooh I, I know. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So is this the finished version the of your uh, art? Yeah, it's the pink one. It's yeah. really cool. I really like the eyes. Wow, it's yeah, cool looking at it really from like cool. the beginning stages and then to the finished colored stages. It's beautiful. A little bit yeah. of trivia. If anyone wants to know too, Winnie the Pooh is from Canada. Oh, no wonder he's the actual the actual bear. Winnipeg. <laughs> Winnipeg, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and maple yeah. syrup. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> is it hockey? true that your your uh, paper money smells like ma maple syrup? Oh my! I God. wish we'd all be just. <laughs> I heard that that was true. Eating the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, no well, is the maple anything? syrup like super expensive? Not here. Like, not in Canada. Yeah. It's only not here. <laughs> That's why we just poured it all out there. Yeah. Were right, those all of more. our all of our pictures to show? Yes, I believe so. Okay, so. Right on. All right. No donkey yeah, stick. No. All right. So you you are to tell the story of donkey stick. Donkey stick is a reward for our crowdfunding. If we get to a certain uh, part, uh, what is the donkey stick? I love saying that, by the way. Donkey stick? Yeah. Well, I guess the donkey stick started. I don't even remember how the beginning was. It you? I don't remember how this started. This guy. It. I think it is Boogie. Yeah. He's just setting himself up for it. Yeah. Tell, tell the story of how I had an awesome idea. Right. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> well, we we're just trying it's to think. It was a hobby story. horse. Yeah, it was a hobby horse, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Nick called it Donkey Stick, and that will awesome. forever haunt my nightmares in a good way. That's crazy. Well, I appreciate you taking the time and, and describing your, your process and everything like that. So, uh, I mean, when it boils down to it, you're making this art for Leyline and, and Leyline. We're trying to supercharge, you know, uh, charities and, and, and put, uh, the, put social, social issues in the forefront. Um, yeah. what, are you, what charities uh, are you most passionate about or, or social issues? I'd say I, I'm a huge, uh, like... If anyone doesn't know, when you sign up for the Boink thing, is like you get to choose, right? So I think that's a huge, amazing, like, even surprise if someone doesn't know when they're first getting in there. But um, I love, like, astro astronomy, any space science, that kind of stuff. Like, of course, everything's, like, a good charity. But, like, just for interest-wise, I'm always, like, fascinated with anything like space and anything like that. And climate change, you've even wrapping that into kind of, like, space exploration and any meteors coming our way or anything like that. So just off the top of my head, just as a, as a general, um, I'm really big into that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I think it's just, uh, the whole thing is amazing. If you're helping out in any way, it's always a great thing. So um, I think that's great. Donating blood too. I think that's a, mm. always a good thing. I think people, yeah, it's easy to go through your life and just not remember or think of it because it's not affecting you, but you know, mm -hmm. take, time of your day and do that it's wonderful yeah i was going to quote a stat about how much blood is like used for cancer patients and stuff like that i just don't know i just know it's a lot i know no, it's, it's a yeah. lot of people that yeah. are transfused and if you, sure. if you can donate blood i know it's a weird time right now if you can safely fi find a way to do it definitely donate blood right now for sure uh they need the all the help they can get yeah all right well i definitely appreciate you and uh 
is it, do you find uh your art to be like mentally soothing is or is it more uh, stressful for you like how do you how do you take a how do you break how do you get your your mental yeah it's a, like it's a little different for me it's still art it just depends on what i'm drawing so like mm. because it's my job like it's if it's both up even saying that like i would i love my job so it's not even it's like levels of of that mental well-being kind of thing um i'm lucky enough that during the day i'll still get into like that zen state thing even at work and i will forget to eat and different stuff like that all the time so i'm lucky enough to get that but for other people that want to obtain that i think that's a huge benefit of drawing uh, if you can get to that flow state and then you forget time and everything then i think a lot of people want whatever recharge that does give you like it definitely gives you something and i don't know sometimes what that is but um i think it's healthy and even just getting ideas out there and emotions definitely if you want to just take that's like the personal art stuff if, so i'm gonna, you know, you I'm gonna to go around the uh, the table here and i'm gonna ask you know with the uh, mental health at an all-time mm. all-time low uh how do we how do you guys keep positive or try to stay mentally healthy because it's hard during you can't go anywhere you're if you're stuck with your significant other uh <laughs> it's just it, it's if you have kids if you kids are kids, being schooled at or home. even if you're even if you're by yourself there's just it's hard yeah. right now it's very yeah. very hard so how um i'll start with uh, mr cody how do you stay sane how do you stay positive oh I i'm wearing a sweater like this man and I am i sane i don't <laughs> Hey, oh, touche. No, you know what? Uh, there's a lot of different forms of art as well. Uh, I do like to draw, as Crystal mentioned. I've even used mm -hmm. some of that for for Leyline. Getting to draw, but also writing. Uh, I love to write. I write uh, fiction stories. So those, I mean, sometimes just allow me to escape into my own world. But but Regular, also, right. even when I'm not writing, I'm daydreaming about it. So that's like, oh, cool. It gives me something to, to focus on. And then I also love making videos. And so I get to do that with my family, my my kids. We have a we have a family channel on YouTube called Kid Safari. It was a plan. What? Plan. Yeah, yeah. Why is so, this the first time we're hearing about this? Put Kids it in the Safari social boost. YouTube <laughs> channel. Please yes. check. There you go. Don't plug check in my, out. my my family channel. It is adorable <laughs> because my oldest is seven, but we've been doing this for like three years now. So um, wow. he's still little. But he started when he was four, and now my four-year-old's doing episodes, and we're working on an episode right now where my one-and-a-half-year-old, she's no, learning so much sign language. My wife mm -hmm. is a sign language interpreter, and so my kids are grown up knowing sign language, and so seeing my little baby girl, the signs aren't great, but it's just like a little kid talking. You know, a little kid talking is kind of, what did they say? And usually parents know exactly what they said. And so, but it's so helpful because she, before she can make words mm -hmm. she can sign words and so sometimes we know she's fussy and what do you want baby and she can say she poop that's the sign for poop <laughs> and you know, oh oh you got a dirty diaper like that is actually really yeah. helpful especially before you start <laughs> smelling it you know it's like okay I've got a deuce, so, dad i've got a deuce <laughs> <laughs> right there we go that should be the sign so sorry that went on a tangent but having, <laughs> having projects are creative expressive projects uh, even cooking, like it's culinary oh, wow. art and mm -hmm. it's just it, though, whatever you can do to kind Delicious of just art. It is. And it's self-expressive because I'm expressing what myself wants to eat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so right no, really just uh, doing all that uh, and exercise. I know some days if I'm, I'm just, what is it? Why am I edgy? Oh, I need to go blow off some steam. I need to do some push-ups and jumping jacks and pull-ups and, you know, whatever but but just that when i've done that or yoga you know i mean it's like okay i feel so much better so sorry i took a long time to answer that <laughs> well it it's seems okay. like you have a lot of things to keep your mental health healthy which is a good uh, thing yeah. I need what about you crystal sure. <laughs> me um let's see so once quarantine started so i live alone with my two cats <laughs> um i was getting very very bored and i started streaming on twitch and found gaming it was i, I played mm -hmm. overwatch when it first came out because my friends played it but never really i never played it a lot but during quarantine i discovered 
what gaming is and how fun and amazing it is. And and by starting Twitch um, and streaming, you meet a lot of people and you have your own Discord and you form this community and bond. Like, although they're not friends you know in real life, I think it makes up for the loneliness that you feel because you're so isolated during COVID. I would agree with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd lose my, my damn mind if I didn't have video yeah. games. It's definitely a way... I like being really creative, but I like mm -hmm. being creative around people. Um, but in order to escape and be part of an adventure, I play a ton of video games. I love it because you get to, you know, experience a world and just kind of just zone out, you know, and not really pay attention to what's happening. I, because if you look at the news, it all sucks. Yeah. It all sucks. Like all of it sucks. And, uh, I just, I, I just escape that way. And I, and I like to work out. I'm still a little, still a little chubby, but I work out every day. I want to get those. If you look at the leyline.gg website, you get 10 points for working out. Now it's on an honor system right now. Eventually we're, we're looking to make partners with maybe, you know, a Fitbit or whoop or, you know, Apple watch stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So you can actually keep track of all of your stats and get rewarded for keeping I yourself healthy. Yeah. And, um, I made sure I did a bunch of pull-ups today and I ran for a while and I was like, mm, I'm getting those 10 points, you know, yep. I, my karma would whip my butt. I knew if I just was like, nobody will know. No one will know if I just click the button. <laughs> I can't do that. I just can't do it. So, uh, Jimmy Cricket, right? He would know. <laughs> yes. Yes. He Your would. conscience would know. He would. He oh, would it's so nice know. having a, I have an Apple watch on there and it's like there's these rings and I have to fill in that 30 minutes of exercise per day. And uh, if you're half assing it, it will say like, hey, what are you doing? Like, it says something. I forget what it says, but it's like, you, are you still exercising? Do you just have it set and you're just chilling on the couch because we're not counting this? So it's really helpful. And then for me, it's just like at the end of the day, did I fill up all my rings? So I get my standing time. Did I, did I burn the calorie goal I want to do? Did I get at least 30 minutes of some form of cardiovascular type of workout? So it really helps, man. It really helps. exercise more. <laughs> what about you, Mr. Andrew? What do you do to try to keep your mental in line? Uh, I uh, wish I had more time. I'm trying to find more time for video games <laughs> instead of drawing. It's true. It's uh, right something I used to like. I used to love it. I, you know what I really love about the, just from an art perspective, but also the gaming? It's like the old school games and the graphics aren't very good. But then mm. they, you had to imagine what the character... Like I used to play something like I don't know, you link or something, but then you like you draw what they look like after, right? Because oh. you don't, the graphics aren't good enough to like, yeah, really, you know, like you can you get the sense of what it is. But so I still like all the the crappy graphics games, side scrollers and stuff. And then I still do too. The old Final yeah. Fantasies, all two dimensional yeah. and stuff. Chrono Trigger. Oh, I mean, yeah. those are coming yeah. back in. I, I, I just don't like think I'd be able to do. Yeah, I just don't think I'd be Sweet. able to do what he does. Like, oh, I'm going to make it better. Be like, well, here's a stick figure with a sword. <laughs> he might be smiling. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Um, just so you guys know, we have uh, Miss Crystal. She hosts a uh, wonderful gaming community night. If you are at home and alone and you're, like, feeling a little mentally stressed <laughs> out yeah. or something like that, we have a Discord that is popping all the time. There are like-minded people there that are trying to help save the planet. And also a bunch of nerds. I see you. I see you, nerds. That's okay. We're all we're all nerds here. Um, but they're all very welcoming. If you just reach out, someone will be there. We have community nights where uh, Crystal she runs gaming nights mm -hmm. where we have stuff going on. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. So not to confuse some of the people who are from my stream right now, it's not my community nights. We have Leyline community nights, and those are on Thursdays bi-weekly at the moment um but i'm sure when we get more people to join that'll become a weekly thing we're working on times to make sure that everyone can join instead of just west coast people last week we played some overwatch with boogie um and some other people f with bex bex is here too hi bex we played with bex and then we um played sketchful which is just a pictionary game you can play online nice. but regardless of what game we play it's so nice to be able to connect with the people because you chatting on Discord and just saying hi or 
like reacting with emotes is different from being in the Discord chat and hearing people's voices and gaming together and, um, you know, promoting teamwork to win, which we didn't. But it's okay. We tried our best. A for effort. But it's Was really this tomorrow fun. night? Did I hear it's tomorrow um, night? So we had yeah. one last week and it's bi-weekly at the moment. We will. Okay. So it's next. Thir it's going to be next Thursday. That's Christmas Eve. You might have a smaller turnout, but hey, oh, <laughs> I'm right. not sure if people are getting together with family. True. <laughs> all my family canceled a long time ago when all this, the COVID numbers were going up. Let me so. open up my, my schedule here. Oh, that's right. It's 2020. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Solid point. You know what? <laughs> then um, I'll that. set up a Discord poll to see what days oh, most people want to want to join. And then the one where most people are available, I'll do that night. Nice. Yeah, right on. Very, 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 very cool. I was, uh, I was there playing Overwatch with you. Yes, and my, uh, my back hurts, and I suck at the game, and my back hurts. So, um, <laughs> I, I somebody, somebody, come help me, come help me. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, come play the games with us. We're going to be playing Among Us, Overwatch, custom games. We get multiple people. Maybe mm -hmm. jump into some MMOs, stuff like that. Uh, wow. Even hey. if you don't want to play, just come and hang out. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, Jonathan did that. He came and just hung out, and we had fun. Um, maybe on that on next Thursday, we can, for those who are lonely at home, being safe and social distancing, if mm -hmm. you guys want, maybe we can watch a Christmas music movie together. Thank you, Eugenio, yeah. for the idea. Yeah. Oh, that's yes. Eugenio's idea, right? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hey. Love that. All right. Well, we're almost out of time. Um, wow, what do you already. Guys want to talk about on the way out, Mr. Cody. You got any great parting words for us? I don't know, man. I was uh, just kind of <laughs> thinking about how tomorrow night I'm going to be uh, working with some other teachers. So for anybody listening to this, I, I also teach. I teach media arts at high school, and so yeah, we're we're actually going to attempt an online game uh, of playing Among Us tomorrow night, and I've never actually played it. I'm like, I feel like such a old guy them whippersnappers in their new games and <laughs> so i'm gonna learn it we're gonna have fun and it's just gonna try to do exactly what you guys were saying um because we're all we're remote teaching the, the the same room i'm podcasting in right now is the same room i'm teaching my students i have a bunch of students i've never once met face to face mm. so you know as much as this pandemic sucks I am so grateful to be alive in a moment of human history and technology that's still allowing connectivity to this level, even when we can't physically be together. And so, I mean, yeah, I, I always try to find those positive spins. It's another way I keep my mental health is like, what can I be thankful for? What can I practice gratitude for? And I'm just, Aww. I am grateful that I have never met any of you guys. Well, I'm sorry. Okay, I met Boogie in person, but <laughs> he's like, "What? We've hung out." But, but I mean, I've gotten to know so many of the folks at Leyline remotely like this for so long, and you guys are becoming uh, amazing friends of mine. So, um, hey, we got a visitor on here. So, I don't know what's going on? But <laughs> who just oh, jumped it's, in? It's me. It's Ali. Uh, Am I allowed to be in the sorry. Staff Wars channel? No. No. Uh, after the stream, Not though. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> We're all good. I, hey, we love you. We love you, but after, <laughs> after. All right. Hey, that was like oh, a God. On, when like Kramer walked in the room. Today's just not working out, man. It, this is a big shout out to Ali. He has the best mustache goatee combination. Nice. That's hard. The reason why I love this is because I dress up like a pirate almost every year for Ren Fair, and I just can't get it. He's got it's beautiful. His mustache goatee. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm so jealous of that. I mean, can we, we can see go to Ren Fair this year. Can you share a photo next time? <laughs> well, with next time, yeah. Next and our next all hands I have his mm -hmm, beautiful mm -hmm. face up there. He's got the best mustache goatee. I just can't. It just doesn't fill in. I, I don't. I don't know. I, Ali I, I, will I'm officially have you on this podcast, and we'll talk about yes. facial hair grooming he is <laughs> and so, many, many other topics. <laughs> yeah, he's so brilliant. Ali is beyond brilliant, and he's so optimistic. I love his energy and stuff like that. But that was that was Ali right there, and that was hilarious. And I love you. Love thank it. you. Thank you. We so love you. Sorry. 
Uh, I had I had a question uh, for for the chat here and, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, the panel. How do you think Cody will do in his game in Among Us? Mm. Hmm. I think he's going to do really well because he kind of keeps the same tone through everything, just smiling. I, I don't I don't know. I think he's going to work people. I think he's going to work people. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think noticed. he's too nice, so he won't. Although, when it comes or, to games, you, you, are you, you not? Got yeah, competition's a different story. It is. It's I'm, not about. I, it's not personal. I'm not gonna like totally wreck someone because I hate them or something. It's like, well, this is the game. I gotta. I gotta do the thing. Sorry. <laughs> most people consider me pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I'm a lunatic when I play video games. I'm uh, a lunatic because. My background, it doesn't matter. Well, I used to fight or whatever. So competition is. Is that just in video I... games? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I thought rule number yes, one. Yes, I'm fight sure. Club. No, I'm not Would sure. You, no, we I'm don't talk about Fight Club. No, <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that here, Crystal. Right. <laughs> we talk about that. All right. Uh, any big events coming up for you, Crystal? Um. For I know you Lay have your your community nights. Layline right? related. Yes. Stream. Yes. Um, that's coming not this Thursday, but next Thursday. Yep. All right, we got some downtime coming up uh, for Leyline, and I'm gonna have to drag Andrew into uh, some video games. Peel him away. We from should the all for a play Among sure. Us together. And for yep. the Leyline staff, please go vote on what you want to do during the holiday thing, please, so we can play some video games all together and lots of love. And get the timing done so our European staff can uh, play as well. Yes. All right. Uh, well, we got to do a couple plugs here. One more time. We we love our partners so far. We have a couple that are upcoming, uh, but one that we can talk about is Zydex. Thank you again for your partnership. Also with uh, the Dance Music Initiative. Please check them out. Uh, they are wonderful. Our buddy Brian, he teaches people how to DJ and I guarantee you that is a good stress relief. You may not be able to speak the same language, but everybody speaks music, right? So that's a mm -hmm. that's a really good uh, a really good thing to check out. Also, everybody watching, I encourage you to check out our crowdfunding campaign, Leyline Nonprofit, and check out sign up for our, our exclusive beta. We're giving away we're giving away money. Basically, we're giving away money. You get to participate. You're going to save the world, and you're going to get paid to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, and get some pretty cool digital assets with it, and see some of Andrew's killer art. Yes, more I, than we already, already showed. Yeah, yeah, and a ton of it that we've already showed. The donkey stick that is coming. Uh, mm -hmm. Check us out at leyline.gg. Uh, you'll be able to get all of the information. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much that's us in a nutshell. Uh, yeah, we're just trying. We're a bunch of dorks trying to <laughs> save the world. With the power dorks of, are cool these days. You're damn. Mm -hmm. Not when I was growing up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to save the world by cloud computing. Uh, donate your processing power. Mm -hmm. Choose the the things that matter to you most and participate. It doesn't cost you an arm and a leg to do it. No. Uh, just a little bit. It only ups your power bill like a few bucks a month. Yeah. Yeah. We got a whole video on it coming out. But the research has shown it's mm -hmm. only a few dollars a month if you're running it. Yeah, like and if all the time. So, if you guys have any more questions, um, join our Discord, and we Please can answer us. live questions right away. Mr. Andrew, any parting words for those uh, aspiring artists and future fighting game nerds? Uh, aspiring artists, just keep drawing constantly. Don't stop. Draw people that you see, fighting game people, and just say, "Watch out!" Because I'm big street fighter guy so <laughs> i'll take who's you down on street fighter finish it i can't we can't I'm, Mortal Kombat. I'm straight up i'm oh, weird dude <laughs> all right so uh, i i didn't I, who is your your street fighter character it's ryu um, ryu all the way yeah who are you who, do you have a choice i wasn't that good when i first started when it first came out i'm also very old so the one that i could only play was blanca because Blanca, that's what I was going to say. Just go down and just smash it. He just does this thing, right? And then yeah. you just cheese ball and people would, little kid, you know, but that, that was, uh, that was that. 
All right. Don't forget to check us out. Leyline.gg. Always lead with love. Love will always be the answer. Uh, if you ever need anybody from or just somebody to talk to and your mental is getting boomed, come into our Discord. We've got a lot of love to give you. Uh, check us out. Uh, check us out, guys, and we'll be back next Wednesday next at 7 p.m. Oh, Civic Standard Time. Oh. Set up perfectly because of your shirt. Oh, same bat time. Same <laughs> bat channel. Yes, yes um, and Pacific Time. See you guys next week. This was fun. Bye, everyone. Thank you.